Our hymn is number 234. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O Lord our God, who made the day to gladden us with its fair light, we praise your name, imploring aid, for day will soon give place to night. The evening shadows grow apace, advancing they will hide the sun, as darkness creeps upon the earth. When daylight hours their course have run, we beg you, Lord and God most high, protect us with your presence blessed. Though weary, keep our souls in peace, and not like gloom of night oppressed. Let not the setting sun go down. On hearts distressed with sin and sore, But sheltered by your gentle grace, May we behold the day once more. To you, O Christ, most kindly King, And to the Father glory be, Praise to the Spirit Paraclete, In every age eternally. shall come and worship you. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly. And the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and prostrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you. God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. 
before ever a word is on my tongue. You know it, O oh Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and molded in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw all my actions, they were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed, before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked, men of blood keep far away from me. With deceit they rebel against you, and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you, abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are foes to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. exalts himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. When I reach the appointed time, then I will judge with justice. Though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, it is I who uphold its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds the cup in his hand. 
full of wine, foaming and spice. He pours it, they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I will rejoice forever and sing songs to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked, while the strength of the just shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He who exalts himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accuse them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. yourselves were once alienated from him. You nourished hostility in your hearts because of your evil deeds. And now Christ has achieved reconciliation for you in his mortal body by dying, so as to present you to God holy, free of reproach and blame. But you must hold fast to faith, be firmly grounded and steadfast in it, unshaken in the hope promised you by the gospel you have heard. It is the gospel which has been announced to every creature under heaven.
mode one. Qui ne confessus fuerit, cor amo minibus, convite bore dego eum, cor am patre meo. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Qui me confessus fueri, cor amo minibus, convite bore ego eu, cor am patre meu. Let us pray to Christ, the light of the nations and the joy of every living creature. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Brilliant light, word of the Father, you came to save all men. Lead the catechumens of your church into your marvelous light. Kyrie eleison. Overlook our sins, Lord, for you are the source of forgiveness. Lord, it is your will that men use their minds to unlock nature's secrets and master the world. May the arts and sciences advance your glory and the happiness of all peoples. Look kindly on those who have dedicated themselves to the service of their fellow men. May they fulfill their work freely and completely. Pray for Mauricio for his health, for all those who ask for prayers. Lord, you open the way and no one can close it. Lead into your light those who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, hear the evening prayers we bring before you. Help us to follow in the footsteps of your Son, so that we may produce an abundant harvest of goodness, in patience, and in faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Virology of June 26th. At Cordoba in Andalusia, in 925, the bloody death of St. Pelagius, a young 13-year-old Christian who witnessed to Christ in the face of Islam, immediately became an object of veneration for the faithful. In 1178, St. Anthelm, the 7th prior of La Grande Chartreuse, he founded the first charter houses for women who wanted to live their aeromedical life. Pope Alexander III appointed him Bishop of Belly, France. The year of grace, 1975, the heavenly birth of St. Jose Maria Escriva, priest, born in uh, Barbastro, Spain, on January 9, 1902. He was the second of six children. On March 28, 1925, Jose Maria was ordained a priest, and three years later, in 1928, he founded Opus Dei. St. John Paul II canonized St. Jose Maria on October 6, 2002. Also, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are described in the Book of Life. 